frosting a cake is the easy step that adds the wow factor that makes homemade desserts memorable. One of the first things you should do is to always cool your cakes uh, before you start to frost so that the frosting will go on nice and smooth. These are Betty Crocker Super Moist Golden Cakes and the same technique goes for every cake that you want to frost. We're just going to brush off any extra crumbs that are clinging and you can use a pastry brush like this that you would also use for basting or you can just use a really soft piece of paper towel. The first step is to gently move your bottom layer of cake and you want to keep the dome side down and put that on your platter. I'm using a really nice pedestal, but any plate will work. But try to choose one that's quite flat, not with much of a rim, so that you can really get down and frost along the, along the edge. Uh, we're using Betty Crocker's whipped fluffy white frosting today, one of my favorites because it goes on so smoothly and it's got such a nice smooth texture. You can use all kinds of things to frost. You can start out with a rubber spatula. Or, if you like, you can use the back of a spoon. You get nice, big, loose, uh, loopy, loopy kinds of swirls. And, you know, in a pinch, you can even use a butter knife. But make sure it doesn't have a serrated edge. Uh, one of the things that chefs like to use is a nice big palette knife because it gives them lots of control and they can get lots of surface. Uh, but if you have a small one, that's fine, too. We're going to use a medium size and uh, just start by masking the cake. And what that means is we put a thin layer of frosting all over our cake so that we can seal in any extra crumbs that didn't come off when we used our brush. Now before we go down to work around the sides of the cake, I'm going to add a little bit of paper around the edge so it'll make, it'll make my cleanup really super easy later on. I'll just be able to pull out the paper and have a perfectly clean platter. Now the next step is to take the second layer. I'm going to really gently work my fingers underneath the bottom here, which is uh, the, where the dome top is. Flip it over and then carefully center it so it's exactly on top of the other layer. And now we're going to continue masking using another thin layer of frosting. And see how beautifully the Betty Crocker frosting coats. It's, you don't have to worry at all about it uh, being too stiff to work with because it's always just the perfect texture. Makes it so easy to make a gorgeous cake. Now that the cake is masked all over, which means we put a thin layer of frosting on it to keep the crumbs from getting into our frosting, I'm going to put on the really fabulous pretty coat. So we're going to put as much frosting as we need to cover our cake, in this case almost a full tub, right on top. And we're going to work it down around the top of the cake, making really a, a nice thick layer, and then cheat it down over the side. Just let it ease down. And once we have that happening, then we can start working on the sides, making them look really swirly and pretty. Even if you don't have professional equipment, you can still make a cake that looks fabulous. I'm going to show you how to use a regular kitchen spoon to add some swirls that add real retro glamour to this cake. Just gently, gently put the base of your uh, bowl of the spoon into the cake and give a little twist. And look at those nice peaks on the side, just as easy. Let's work up from the bottom towards the top and then pull away at the last moment to get the little curl. Once the cake is frosted, it's essentially done and really ready for the table. But if you want to customize it, you can add some berries or some candies and, and really just uh, make it seasonal and, and your own. So I'm just going to add a few lovely raspberries in a nice little circle on top. Add whatever you like. You can use some nuts, you can use other fruit. And then, since I have it on hand, I'm going to just add a little sprig of mint. And there we have it, a picture-perfect cake. All we have to do is remove our paper. I'm going to slide a knife underneath, just gently, gently, gently pull up the edge of the cake. And as you can see, by using the paper, I have no cleanup. There you have it. Your cake is all ready to serve. It's just time to put on the coffee and call everyone to the table. I hope you'll join me again for more One Step Tips. For more recipe videos, visit lifemadedelicious.ca.